Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Andrew Cam, Ticket the Week Hand Game. In the last episode of Cam Play Far Cry, we made our way up into this fort, and in this episode we're going to continue onward, and I just want to say a lot of you pointed out how, how I missed this very obvious door to the side here, and I just have to say I have no excuse. Thank you for pointing it out, because I'm going to be honest, I was searching down there, but we're going to enter the door and see what happens. The beta strain of mutagen is more potent than I originally anticipated. The test subjects are demonstrating superhuman qualities, but are somewhat unstable. I am concerned they may become difficult to control. I have taken the precaution of using my own DNA as a carrier for the strain. Perhaps this will give them some primordial instinct linking them to me. Then, I should be able to control them. The next test subjects will be ready for incubation soon. Interesting. So Dr. Krieger, who was on the screen, he uh, has been testing on animals, it appears. If I was to take a guess, it's what those things were at the beginning of the game. So we are going to... I'm going to take out him. The comm center is powered by a gas generator. If you plant a demolition pack on the fuel tank, the blast should be enough to destroy the whole facility. Oh, a demolition pack. Right. Good thing I remember to pack a few of those. Don't be difficult. It's unprofessional. The mercenaries use demo packs to clear brush on the islands. If you look around, you should be able to find some that you can appropriate. I love Doyle. Don't be unprofessional. Jack and Doyle have a really fun chemistry between them, and I'm, I'm enjoying that. Now, what is Dr. Krieger up to? I think he was trying to create a super, super, like, creature that would follow him so he could, you know, control the world. Typical kind of stuff, in a way. So we have a charger. We have a charge, not a charger. We're not sponsored by Dodge. But we have some new weapons. Or not really new. Some of the old weapons we've gotten. And we have more ammo for the sniper rifle, which is always nice. I think we have almost full ammo for most of our weapons, actually, so... I don't need any more health, so let us use the use key. And that thing I saw earlier with the red highlight, that's what this was for. Okay, this is starting to make more sense. So now we're gonna come down in here. Guess we'll plant the charge here by using the use button, of course. Alright, this makes sense. Let's get out. Well, that was a pretty anticlimactic explosion, I have to say. But it's really interesting. Let me know. What do you think of the chemistry between Jack and Doyle? I'm curious what you think. I'll meet you at the pier on the far side of the island. It's important I don't compromise my cover, so you'll have to secure the area first. Right. All right, so we can't compromise Doyle's cover. Makes sense, so I'm sure... How did that not kill him? Is it just gracing him? What the freak? You guys saw that, right? That doesn't make sense. Not much, anyway. Hey, it's me. Oh. Don't ask if he's okay, ask if Danny is. Danny, are you okay? Let, me, let us know. Okay, gonna reload, get some ammo for this. Don't know why the sniper really wasn't working, but okay. I wonder if we can take that hang glider. I know it's a little off topic, but it makes sense why we have to be, you know, stealthy. We can't let... They keep giving us machetes. I'm not sure if that's something we're gonna have to use. Let's see. Oh, yeah. S press F1 to switch... Oh, so we can get a third-person view. Kind of getting to see Jack here for the first time. It'll take hours for them to restore their systems to normal. Until they do, you should be able to move around much more easily. I'm on a tight beam to you, so our communication will remain unaffected. Man, this is gorgeous. Just looking at the mountainside here. Oh, God. Being shot at, being shot at. Oh, shoot. Well, that was gorgeous. That just flying around the island like that. Man, that was... That was something. Okay. Okay. Ow. 
Probably should have landed a little higher. Run onto the land, run onto the land. Why can't I? There we go. Took out the gunner. Take out one. Another one comes. Oh, God. What was that? Okay, well, I guess we'll figure this out from back here. There we go. No, they say to avoid the common paths here, but... I don't really see where else we need to go. There we go. So we're kind of taking the path. At the same time, we're not. Okay, let's see what you dropped. Nothing really, but there's some ammo up here. A lot of ammo. And some health, I'll take it. I'm gonna keep following this path so we understand the tropics here. God, I love this. Just love the environment of this game, really. Saving game, so you know we must be making some progress. Aha! Uh -huh. Let's use what we have. There we go. Take out the snipers. Continue forward. Making sure that we didn't... So that's what those things are. They're power generators. So now that we got the sniper's nest cleared... Let's see what they are protecting up here. Oh. We have a major problem here, people. Now get off your asses and get moving. Holy crap. I see what they're protecting now. So how are we gonna do this? We're gonna do it the best the smart way. So to start, we need to take out the enemy sniper. I just wish we had a little better control of ourselves. So what if I try no, it's not going to work because I can't see if I do that. So we're going to have to try to get control of it. Unless. Oh. That, that really doesn't make much sense. But if it's working. I'm not going to complain. Okay, so they don't know what's hitting them. Which is good. Okay, time to get you out. Yeah, there we go. So this is pretty cool. We also didn't lose any health, which I can support fully. Got some of that. All right, let's do this. Zoom in. Dang it. We're not using that anymore, folks. We're going to have to climb down. Oh, no! Oh, it was just my armor. Eh. Oh, I did not see this tower. So, you're telling me to blow something up to divert their attention from the other thing I blew up. Brilliant. Oh god, that's... It's quite funny. Actually. God, I wish I noticed the other sniper nest and took them out before I took anything else out. 
to be honest with you. Man, this foliage is so dense. Luckily for me, I have a little bit of an advantage because I have this glasses, or not glasses, but these binoculars, these binocs are helping. So I can get a little bit of an advantage here if I just play my cards right. Now, taking Doyle's advice and not going on the normal path. They're really gonna come into play here going through this jungle. I mean, we are, there are enemies all around, but at the same time, they can't see us just as much as we can't see them. That's why they're still green. They're not a threat to us yet. Now, he, he's a little more aware. But even then, just because they're a little more aware doesn't mean much because we're pretty. Pretty alright right here. I think that's the sniper up there. It is. Oh god. There we go. Took out the sniper and we took out this random person. Coming through the foliage. All in all, we're pretty undetected. So... Yeah, they're green now because they don't know we're here. So that's kind of cool to know that there's a system on the... Alright, how do I find them though? Alright, that's one taken out. Alright, so we're gonna go back in here because they have a more powerful weapon than I do and I want more armor. Oh god, no! Oh, I should have taken out the gunner first. Dang it! I don't see him anymore. The only thing I think we have left is a sniper. Alright. There we go. So we took out the sniper. And we did really well this time. On the infiltration, I'd say. You know, I don't see too many things that we don't have access to. 
armor. I don't feel too worried about going through here. I mean, I can crouch, so I probably will do that just because I want to be 100% sure. Getting more military personnel stuff here. And we're so close to the dot. Alright, so let us be very careful. The fact that I can't shoot through this, but they can. So unfair. Like, that's one thing I don't like about this game. And I think it's a fair thing. The enemies can shoot through solid, or not solid, but walls, and I can't. Ooh, but I am okay with the briefing room. There's a charge, the charge I need. We'll blow up the armory, I guess. Don't have the key, though. Is there anything really in here that I can use? Eh, nothing that I'm seeing that I don't have already. Alright, so, I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a vehicle now and just say no to that, see what we can do this away. There is a clear path, and we can, uh, oh shoot, 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 no, no, no! Is there a way to switch to the third person in this? Because if so, that'd be great. I think F1, yeah. Maybe that's what I need. I feel like I'm a better driver when I can see what I'm doing with the vehicle, the full vehicle. So, okay, well, we'll just trade vehicles here. I know what I was doing anyway. Let's see what I can see if there's a sniper up there. Of course there is. So let us see what I can do with my gun. Come on. Ooh, he had a very powerful gun. Happy I took him out. So we'll continue onward, saving game. They save the game a lot. Uh, what is this way? Not too sure. Oh God, no! Okay, okay. You should be approaching the pier shortly. As soon as you secure the area, I'll pick you up. Okay, so we are attacking their pier. I'm gonna open a can of whoop bath. All right, I wish I had some more cover or something, but you know. Where are you? All right. Feel like we're pretty well hidden under here. We are. All right. I think we're pretty secure with this pier now. Never mind. Spoke too soon. Oh, oh, so this is where it put us. As soon as you secure the area, I'll pick you up. Right. 
I actually think this is where we're going to cut it for today. Let me know, what do you think about blowing up all the things we've been blowing up in these last two episodes? I'm really curious what you have to say, but that's going to be it for this episode. That's going to be it for today. Let me know what you think of Jack and Doyle's chemistry. Let me know what you think of the environment and the driving segments and the hang gliding. There's just so much that happened. And I will see you hopefully in the next episode again. Thank you all so much for watching.